back in the kitchen today. <laughs> You're a bell pepper. We have the other kids in here. We have the little bunny. Alrighty, so I'm back from Coles. I've done my shop, $50.70. It may look like I'm wearing a different outfit. I've just tied up my sleeves on the back there so I have free movement. Um, so I'm gonna make as many meals as I can with all of these ingredients so that you guys at home have some healthy options for your family that don't break the bank. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm gonna do is some mini quiches. These are great snacks, they're really easy to make next to no ingredients and they're really good for school lunch boxes or if you're going to work or at uni they're beautiful cold as well so let's get started so basically i'm just going to chop the ends off the carrots i'm going to grate some carrots i'm going to pop those into the mini quiches we're going to pop all of the ingredients in raw into the egg because it's going to cook into the oven with the eggs so don't have to pre-cook any of it. Just half an onion. Just finely chop up the onion. And obviously with any recipes today, these are basic ingredients. If you have different things in your cupboard that you would like to add, salt and pepper, different sauces or different ingredients, then go, you know, go ahead. This is just me showing you what I can do with $50. I'm just gonna finely chop up the broccoli. One thing that I didn't buy today was oil, but you do need it for most of your cooking. I assume that most of you have some sort of oil in your cupboard. I like to cook with coconut oil, spray or normal. Olive oil is really good in salads, but whatever you've got in your cupboard, you just make do, all right? And scoot them into the tray. All right, I'll pop those into the oven. So there we have it. Three, six, nine, ten, can count. <laughs> ten little mini quiches I'll pop in the oven. So the next thing I'm gonna get started on, I'm making a lot of meals in a short amount of time today, but the next thing I wanna do is a roast pumpkin green salad. Great to have on the side of anything, or if you just have a bigger portion, it can be a whole meal as well. So I'm gonna chop up the pumpkin and pop it in the oven to roast. While that's roasting, I'll get the rest of the salad ready and maybe get onto another meal. I like my pumpkin like dry roasted without any oil or anything on it. I just think it's got so much flavor as it is. So I haven't even used the whole pumpkin there. I've still got these two bits, but that's all I'm gonna do today. That's gonna be enough. So for the roast pumpkin salad, I've just got a nice big bowl here. I'm gonna do a mix of kale and spinach. Also got my tin beetroot here. Fresh beetroot is obviously a lot better. They Coles actually have like a packet fresh beetroot that has, it's pure beetroot, but they had sold out. So I just went with a can today. And obviously if you have time, you can get like a whole fresh beetroot, steam that up and then chop it up and put it through. That's even better. But today I just went the easy option. I'm waiting for the pumpkin to roast. And I'm also gonna chop up some chicken breasts and make it chicken. Vegetarians, you obviously don't have to put the chicken in there. I will wash my board after last time a lot of people were really worried that I used the same board for raw chicken and veggies. So after I've chopped my chicken, I will wash it. So I'm just gonna simply cook this chicken up in a non-stick pan. Scooby is eagerly waiting at my feet, hoping, hoping that he gets some of this. Sorry, mate. It's got the beetroot juices on it. <laughs> These mini quiches are nearly done. Looking good, looking good. I'm trying to do this really quickly because I've got one hour to film as many meals as I can. Like that's cook, prepare, do everything in an hour as I've got a really big interview after this. So I'm kind of jumping from meal to meal. So hopefully you guys are keeping up. Um, so yeah, the next meal that I'm gonna get onto is zucchini pasta. It's one of my favorites. So I've done the zucchini pastoring. Is that even a word? Zucchini spiralizing. I've done it. <laughs> One of those little veggie twister things that this is all just raw zucchini. I'm going to steam it up for maybe a minute or two. Then I'm simply going to cook up the mince, add some other ingredients, a bit of cheese on top. Oh, so yum. One of my favorite meals. So we'll get started on that one now. It looks 
might not cook because of the beetroot. <laughs> I might get those mini quiches out. I think they're going to be ready. Beautiful. Beautiful. So my mini quiches are all done. They were only in there for probably 10 minutes max. So I'll let them cool down before I scoop them out and pop them into containers and pop them back into the fridge. So they're so yummy. Yay, meal one down. All right, so I'm gonna get onto my zucchini pasta. So obviously you'll need to spiralize your zucchini. I'm going to chop up some onion nice and finely. And I'll cook the onion up in the pan along with the beef mince. And we'll throw a tin, uh, diced tomatoes from the tin in there as well for our sauce. And then I'll grate some cheese and pop that on top. So it's really nice and easy. I might add another half of onion. I don't think half is enough. While I'm waiting for the onion to cook and brown up, I'll just grate some cheese. So you can have your zucchini pasta raw. I'm gonna steam mine up for a minute just so it's a hot meal, so it feels more hearty. In winter, I just, I like my warm meals. Gonna check on my roast pumpkin. The timing's worked out perfectly. Um, Taj is asleep, he always has his morning nap around this time, so it works out really good. But I do have his Auntie Jo here to help because I've got such a big day of work today, so it's good to have an extra helping hand. I've also got my uh, peas and corns here. I'm gonna add a little bit of that into the mix as well. Pop that in, mix that around, turn that off. Only gonna steam that for a minute, like I said, to heat it up. Beautiful, looks so good. I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Check on the zucchini. Yeah, perfect. So I did the zucchini just for a minute, basically to heat it up because I like it to still have that pastry kind of feel. And there's my mixture. There's going to be leftover as well, which is awesome. Scoop the bolognese on top and sprinkle some cheese on top. And there you have it. Dinner is served. Well, it's lunchtime, but there's two meals down. So now I'm just going to get the roast pumpkin out of the oven and pop it into the salad. And there's another meal down. Alrighty, so I've got my chicken, pop that on top. The beetroot, the kale, the spinach, the pumpkin, and there's a beautiful hearty green veggie salad. So really healthy, really easy, done. All right, next I might do hmm, a green smoothie. Great option for on the go. So what we might have today in the green smoothie, we'll have a banana. Always a good base. Pop a full nani in there. We have some spinach, because we all need the greens. We have a cup of water. I'm gonna add some oats, just to make it a little bit more hearty. Might even add some frozen berries. Why not? So I'll just pop a handful in there. And then we'll blend it up. There's probably one and a half cups of smoothie as well there. So there's another one. So we've been cooking for approximately 35 minutes and we've done one, two, three, four meals, which is amazing. Next, I'm gonna move on to my cauliflower fried rice. I've done this on Snapchat quite a bit and it's been really, really popular. So your base is obviously your cauliflower. So I'm just using half a cauliflower here. Now, the best way to do it is blend it up if you've got a blender just to make it really fine so it's like rice. If you don't have a blender, you could just chop it really finely, I suppose. That would do the same job, but blender is definitely gonna be handy in this situation. So pop the cauliflower in. You can also pop broccoli in there too and blend that up and you honestly can't even taste it. So it's a good way to get some extra greens into people who don't like greens. So I'm just gonna blend this up. It kind of looks like rice. It's just really finely grated up. Alrighty, so I'm gonna chop up some chicken. I'm gonna really chop the chicken up really finely. Chop up some onion. So I'm just gonna cook up the onion and the chicken together now. Two eggs for this as well, which I'll just cook in the pan and then chop up really finely to mix through the cauliflower rice. 
Remember, these are healthier versions of the things that we love. So your classic normal fried rice is probably not the healthiest option to choose if you're gonna, if you're on a weight loss journey or trying to really get as many nutrients into your body through that meal. So this is a healthier version of a fried rice, okay? <laughs> now I'm just gonna crack the two eggs into the bowl and whisk them up so I can cook that up for the fried rice. Once my chicken and onion is cooked, I'll get that out of the pan, cook this, and then I'll be mixing the cauliflower fried rice with all of those ingredients, plus some peas and corn, and it'll pretty much be done. So I've just put the egg through there and cooked it on the pan, and it's just chopped up finely. So I definitely, think you guys will prefer to have a bit of sauce in there, soy sauce or the coconut aminos. But this is what it looks like. And as you can see, half a cauliflower goes a long way. So this would be more than enough for Steve and I to have together. Taj, you might even like it. <laughs> and there we have it, cauliflower fried rice. All right, so the next meal I'm gonna get onto is really easy and simple and you can add anything else you like to it, but it's a nice winter warmer breakfast. So it's just your basic oats. So what we're gonna do is add half a cup of oats into a pot. We're gonna add a cup of water. In there. You might even need more, but see more water, see how you go. And then our frozen berries. We're gonna add a cup of frozen berries and pour that in. Pop it on the stove top, mix it together as it'll all start to absorb and it is beautiful. So basically I'm just gonna leave that on the stove top and stir it as I go. It'll only need to be on there for a couple of minutes. This is just your basic oats. If you're in a rush in the morning or you got kids, this is a really, really good option for them. Alrighty, so that was less than five minutes on and here we have Beautiful berry oats, they're so satisfying. Yum. And there you have it, beautiful berry oats. One of my favorite winter breakfasts to have. And yeah, adding protein powder after training is really good as well. So I have run out of time, it's quarter to 12. My interview starts at 12, so they'll be getting to my house any moment now. I had another two meal, three meals actually that I was gonna do with you. I was gonna do a beautiful chicken stir fry sweet potato nachos, which are one of my favorite meals, and also the capsicum, I would have chopped the top off that and filled it with beautiful ingredients as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine meals. And that's to feed Steve and I at each one, plus there's leftovers, all for $50. So anyone that says they can't eat healthy because they can't afford it, I've definitely given you loads of options to work with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I can't believe I got all of that done in one hour. That is amazing, especially for mum life. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know which meals you loved and I will bring these other meals to you in future episodes of Raw.